Excellencies, Dr. Joglaf, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. I am Emile Frison, Director General of Biodiversity International, and I just want to say what a great pleasure it gives me to be able to address you like this. The reason I have to do this, rather than be with you today in Bonn, is that I have to be in Rome for a very important event, but I'll say more about this later. But it is also worth noting that this technology has allowed me to reduce my carbon footprint, which is an unexpected bonus. The world is celebrating Biodiversity Day today, with a special emphasis this year on agricultural biodiversity. As you all know, we have been working with FAO to help implement the program of work on agricultural biodiversity. And good progress has been made and will continue to do so. But I think that for many of us, the game has changed. Newspapers, the television, radio, internet, in the past few months, all have been full of the food crisis. Prices have doubled or trebled in some cases for basic foods. And this has hit the poor people, particularly those in the cities, very hard. There are many causes and many possible solutions. In the short term, more food aid will be an answer. But in the longer term, we must grow more food. All efforts to do so depend on agricultural biodiversity. Traditionally, agricultural biodiversity has been seen only as a source of traits to improve uh, crops and livestock that will continue to be important and requires that we conserve and make use of agricultural biodiversity. And we must particularly focus on crop wild relatives which are particularly threatened by habitat loss and climate change. But there is so much more that biodiversity can bring. Better nutrition, for one thing. Using agricultural biodiversity to boost dietary diversity, which in turn makes people healthier and more productive. Biodiversity makes harvest more stable. And for the very poorest farmers, minimizing risk Ensuring that the family has something to eat is much more important than maximizing production. Farmers already use diversity to help fight pests and diseases and make full use of fluctuating environments. We need to work with them, learn from them, their best techniques, improve upon them and make them uh, shared with other communities. If we want to improve the livelihoods of the poorest people, then we need to increase productivity, but we need to do so sustainably, without threatening the environment and without promoting further inequality between the haves and have-nots. We need to intensify production, but without simplifying the production system. And agricultural biodiversity will be a fundamental part of this intensification without simplification. Which brings me back to the event and why I cannot be with you today. Here in Rome, we are having a roundtable discussion and a concert, not only to celebrate the World Biodiversity Day, but also to mark the start of a two and a half year campaign to raise the awareness about the vital importance of agricultural biodiversity. Simultaneously, there are events in Peru, Egypt, Kenya, Armenia and Malaysia. The campaign will be working in those countries and eventually also in India, Peru and many others to promote the importance of agricultural biodiversity, culminating in 2010, the International Year of Biodiversity. Each country will be focusing on the issues of most importance to it, nutrition, policies, incomes, but they will all be guided by the knowledge that while all the Earth's biodiversity is important. It is agricultural biodiversity that directly supports us. We need to halt the loss of diversity and to conserve what we can. But more than that, we need to start making better use of agricultural biodiversity in all the ways I mentioned before. The food crisis in 2008 is a wake-up call. A cannery in a coal mine, as a colleague of mine said, that urges us to invest in research, to identify truly sustainable long-term solutions to end hunger and poverty while conserving the environment. The Global Awareness Campaign will, we hope, help the world to realize 
what a vital contribution agricultural biodiversity can make to human well-being. By the time 2010 turns around, and that's not far off, I think we will be able to look back at today, World Biodiversity Day, and agree that it was a significant moment, that as a result of this global campaign, the world is taking agricultural biodiversity more seriously, and that as a result of that, the lives of the poorest people are better today than they were in 2008. I invite you all to join us in this global campaign. Thank you.